The thing is, like, you don't have to worry about side view of the face, if anything. Usually, I don't give it too much attention regardless. I think none of the 3D artists really give too much attention to the side view because the problem is, if you follow the front view design with the side view design, you will have a monstrosity, 100%. I've seen people doing it, like people have this idea that you're supposed to follow both front and side view for the anime models. It is impossible. You should never, as a 3D modeler, follow front and side view when it comes to anime models, right? Because first of all, inconsistency with the artists. Artists are never really consistent with how they draw side and front. Again. When it comes to anime faces, there are no specific rules per se. With anime models, you have to make sure that it looks good from the front angle as much as possible. And then after that, you have to kind of like go through sides to sides and see how it looks. Like, again, I can show you like a good example on Black Wii's model. Like, look at Black Wii's model, right? Front view, right, in this orthogra orthographic view, right? It looks good, right? You look at this model and then you're like, okay, this looks pretty good at this distance, right? I mean, obviously, with, uh, what do you call it? Perception, right? Or, and then, uh, like, perception depth and stuff like that. The more you zoom in, right? Like, it kind of gets distorted, obviously, right? She's like that. Now she's in your face. But that's just kind of how camera angles and objects in 3D space look, right? That's kind of how it is. But now look at this this way. So this is her front view, right? I'm gonna slowly like go sideways. You see how it is from the side view? Now I didn't follow. Uh, why is this? Oh yeah. Now when it comes to like uh, her view, right? I mean, you looking at this from the side might look, oh, this is like weird. But the thing is, like, this is kind of how it is. This is kind of how 3D models are, basically. They're not supposed to go like all the way in, like weirdly inside. Why are you laughing? Five head? Yeah, she has a big fucking head. That's how it is. But well, that's what I'm saying. But here's the thing. Even from the side view, right? Like I do make those models like to be in a specific way. Now, what I'm saying is like, if I were to follow this and make it, make her chin like go all the way to the back, like up until here, how like some of the drawings are made, it would look very weird. So when it comes to 3D models, right, A, it's up to each individual 3D artist how they do it, right? And uh, it also depends on the uh, the kind of like the age of the model. Let's say this model is like this, right? Again, like this side view is pretty f***ing good for this model. Like, I, I think that like one thing that I always try to nail down is the side view, right? Because I always see models, whenever you look at them from the side, they look f***ing weird, right? But this one looks pretty good. And this is like something that I worked out throughout the years of experience and just like oh, like doing over and over and over again. Like at any angle, this model looks actually pretty fucking good, no matter what it is. Look, like there is no angle where you look at this model and you're like, oh, this kind of weird because it's an anime model, right? Now, let's say comparatively uh, another model, which is a lolly model in this case, right? She was done a little bit different. Right? Because she was like this more chibi lolly, and she kind of has like a lot more flat air face, basically, right? Because for the time being, with the concept that I was given, let's say this made the most sense for her, basically, to make her like a lot more like this. So like you can see her chin line goes very close, and that her whole face is a lot more flatter. So again, like it kind of like depends. Again, like we can look at. Probably Haruka's model, right? Like same with the Haruka's model. Like she has Haina has like that type of face, a little bit prolonged. Again, I feel like even on this model, like she kind of has the cheeks going on. They're kind of puffed out a little bit. So like whenever you're looking at this model from different angles, like it looks nice. With a little bit cheek action and stuff like that. There, this is the topology basically. You see, but her face, like her chin line goes like a little bit more deeper, basically, here. Not too deep, but like deeper, at the very least. 